Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, so today I'm going to be making this uh, Harley Davidson sign that I've got here. So this is the one that I'm going to be using. Uh, but I might just do a very quick run through on how I got to this one here. Um, so basically I just took it uh, from Google. So I just Googled the Harley Davidson logo or Harley Davidson font um, and took this one straight from Google. So I'm just going to import it into Inkscape here and just give you just a very quick rundown on how I got it to that point. So um, this is the one that I took from Google. Um, basically, I'm going to do a trace or trace bitmap. So over here, um, if you don't know how to find that tab in Inkscape, you just go to path and then trace bitmap. Um, you can see here that once you do your trace, uh, you can pull the top one off here. Um, and you can sort of play around again over here. You've got the plus and minus sign, so you can make it more of a deeper, I guess, trace, um, and play around until you get sort of, you know, whichever one you're sort of happy with. Um, and I'll show you here, if I just zoom in a little bit here, um, you can see like the top of the S there. Um, and then on this one down here, it's not nearly as bad. There's no point. Um, so I'd like to get them as close as I can. Uh, and then I'll go in and use the edit node tool to sort of just tweak them a little bit to get them looking a bit better. So even with this one, you can see the little dash. So this is the one that I'm using down the bottom and this is what it's like. So if you click on the nodes tab or edit nodes tab there, you can actually go in and alter that to however you like. So that's what I've done with the one that I'm using today. Um, but to save the hassle, I didn't go through and do all the alterations. So I uh, just wanted to give a quick back back sort of thing on that one just to show you how I basically got to the one that I'm using which is this one down the bottom here. So I'll jump over here into Lightburn because that's what I'm going to be using on the uh, laser cutter to cut this out. Uh, so I'm going to basically, I want it to be a lot longer so I'm going to cut it in two parts. Um, so first of all I need to just uh, ungroup this one and make it two separate pieces and that's just so that I can fit them on my cutting area a bit better. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that and then I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So this at the moment is all ungrouped. So I'm just going to go ahead and select that whole thing. Um, just down on the left hand side of the tab here, you've got this O, which is like an outline thing. Um, and once you click on that, you can see in the background there that uh, you can change this to make the outline, uh, you know, thicker or thinner. Um, again, you know, it's personal, personal preference for what, however you want to sort of set that up. But, uh, for me, I'm going to leave mine on about nine and basically, um, that's going to be what I want to do. So I'm going to have a background, um, which is going to be painted black. And then obviously the writing that you see on the front here is going to be painted orange. Um, Best way to save this that I found, or easiest way I guess, is that I can't open two light burn pages at the same time so that I can save either. So I go ahead and select that outline and then click delete. I'll then go in and save the writing uh, as one file um, and basically save it to my USB or wherever I'm going to save it to. And then I'll come back up here and go to edit and then undo. Um, and the good thing about Lightburn is that you can cont continuously sort of uh, just edit and undo every last step. So I'll move that out of the way and then I'll go through and delete the writing. Uh, and then I'll bring that background back down into um, the cutting area here that I have and I'll go ahead and save that. Um, so that's basically how I get my two files. So again, one's going to be cut as the background, which is this part here, which will be painted black. And then the writing will be cut... Um, as a, as a separate piece and that'll be painted orange and they'll just be put on top of each other. Uh, I am doing both of these out of three mil, so a three mil back and a three mil front. Um, but again, you know, you could use whatever sort of thicknesses you want, but for me, this is going to work. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Um, and then we'll jump over to the laser and get it cut out. All right, guys, so here we are at the laser. Um, and as I said before, just three mil, uh, MDF is what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to get that onto the bed here. Um, I'll just get it set up. I'll do a quick frame and then I'll jump in and, uh, get it cut out. Uh, this one is going to be the background. So this is going to be the black. So this one will be pretty quick. Um, and then, yeah, we'll jump over and cut out the front section, which is the writing. So I'll get this set up, do that quick frame, and then we'll get cutting.
All right, guys, so that was that. Uh, that was the background, and now I'm going to do pretty much exactly the same thing, but with the writing. Uh, so I'll just, again, get this set up, do a quick frame, and get into getting it cut out. <laughs> Okay, so with that all cut out, I'll just pull this out. Um, everything comes away pretty pretty easy, pretty good. Um, so yeah, I might just put this together quickly and just show you what it's gonna look like um, before I start painting it. Okay, so this is basically it here. So as I said, we've got the background. And then we've got the writing on the front. So back black and the front orange. So I'll jump ahead now and we'll get into doing some painting and get this thing put together, see how it turns out. All right, so time for some paint. Um, I guess the only tip that I could probably give on this point is that when you're rolling the paint, not so much on the background here, but when I get to doing those letters, you just kind of got to do it lightly, like light coats, or else the paint tends to roll like or go onto the edges of the writing, um, which can look a little bit how you're going. So, um, yeah, you just kind of got to do slow and steady. <laughs> So with the back painted, I'll let that dry for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to jump in and paint the orange. Uh, I'm just going to do what I normally do, which is to basically just insert the letters back into the background. Um, it's just a good way to hold everything in place while you're sort of rolling it with the paint. Um, so again, yeah, light coats, and I'll probably end up doing two of those on this top section. guys last step now it's just time to basically glue it all up uh, so I'll go ahead basically and just lay out all these letters onto the background so I know exactly where they're going and then I'll just use some glue here to basically glue them up and get them down um, yeah pretty much we'll hook into this and uh, I'll see you back at the end <laughs> Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. Pretty much all glued down. I'll just press all this down 
And then I'll turn it around and give you a bit of a look. So again, three mil back, three mil top. So it's only six mil. Uh, you could use whatever you like, I guess. But for me, it's just going to be going on the wall. Um, thinner the better for me. Lighter to hang. Um, take you in here and give you a bit of a look. It all came out really well. Uh, didn't seem to get any um, paint on the outsides of the letters. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, appreciate you checking out the video. And uh, make sure you subscribe so that you can check out any future videos that I do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one.